Greetings once again from the corner on the deck. Finally in Arkansas the weather's broken a little bit as far as the heat goes. It's a lot more uh, a lot more tolerable. It's still pretty warm, but the other day I was listening on the radio. Some guy said I think it was up in North Carolina or, or not North Carolina, but North Dakota or Wyoming and somewhere up there the nighttime temperatures were already at 37 degrees. So I guess I'm kind of glad to be here now. <laughs> Today we're not going to uh, talk about a radio again. Uh, I'm currently in the throes of, uh, those of you who are following all my videos, uh, I'm currently in the throes of building uh, a G5 RV, a ham radio uh, uh, multi-band antenna. And I'm also building uh, an AM transmitter. It's the one that Rick McWhorter built uh, and put a YouTube up about. He's uh, All American 5 Radio. I've been wanting to build one for a long time, and I finally got all the parts together, and I'm building it, and I'm almost done. I should have it completed this weekend, and uh, I want to do a modification uh, to it, uh, but Rick said, okay, that's no problem. We can work on that, but get it working first, and uh, so I said, yeah, that's right. You know, that way, if there's something goes wrong, uh, I'll know it's my modification that caused the problem and not something I did uh, wrong during the construction phase, uh, but I want a, an AM transmitter that I can put like in the back bedroom, uh, hook a, uh, a CD player up to it or a tape player and uh, transmit whatever I want through my house and have it come out my old radios. Uh, that's what I'm going to do. And I've been wanting to do it for quite a while. I built a one tube transmitter one time and sent it to my sister. And hers works good. Of course, it's just one tube. Uh, but this is a three tube jobby, and which can be expanded up to uh, two more tubes, which is a pre-amplifier. And I've left enough room on the chassis to do that. But that's not really today's subject. Today's subject is, uh, lately I think my, uh, my videos have been a lot clearer, much clearer, and, uh, and, and they're not fuzzy. Uh, the sound quality, I think, is a lot better. And uh, I did a video a while back on the Flip Ultra. Uh, I, I evaluated it, and I told you I did not like uh, its MP4 format. And I was having to do a conversion every time before I could upload it to YouTube. Uh, I went through uh, the AVI, the MPG, and then finally to, uh, to the M, uh, WMV. And I used uh, two conversion programs. One was Prism and the other one was uh, Pizera. I finally got to the point I just got sick of the whole mess. You know, I said, there's got to be something better out there. I'm tired of this conversion stuff. I said, you know, I'll tell you who's got the answers. The young people out there. You know, uh, guys like me, we grew up, we, we knew what a scatter shield was, and we knew how to tear apart a, uh, uh, you know, a 283 Chevy engine, and we knew what all the parts were. The young folks today have different interests. Their interest is more in the technology side of the house, the program side of the house. Uh, male and female, they know more about it than people my age. So I'd be a fool not to go to them and find out what they recommend as an editing program for my videos. So I went out on YouTube and I clicked here and I clicked there and I looked here and I looked there and sure enough, there were some young folks there, both boys and girls uh, or young people, young men, young women, I guess I should say, who recommended uh, a program called Power Director 8. Power Director 8. Now, they, they, cl they claim that, you know, you can do this, you can do that, you can do all sorts of things. And the thing I liked about it was it will import mp4 and then I can edit my program and you know cut splice uh, uh, re uh, remove uh, I can do uh, you know make little things appear on the screen and all that sort of thing and it's fairly cheap I think I paid 50 bucks for it or 56 something like that with uh, shipping or whatnot they reckon they said this one's this one's cool the price was right and it does everything that I wanted it to do so you know I went out on YouTube and I looked for young people to give me advice. Well, I'd be nuts not to take that advice. I mean, what was the point of going and looking it up if I didn't want to take their advice? They said it was cool. I believed them. I bought it. It works great. I can now import my MP4 videos from my camera directly into it, do all my editing I want, and when I'm done, click a button and it converts to a movie and then automatically loads it up to YouTube or Facebook or whatever. And you're now seeing the results of it. Uh, I think it looks really good. I think the color's good. I think the, the sharpness. And uh, I'm real happy with it. The only pro it did have a problem. 
Uh, it may have been an oversight by the company, I don't know. But there, uh, it opens up and it shows you a few things that it'll do. And, uh, and on the back it has a few other things that, that it'll do. That's about it. <laughs> there were no instructions other than what was on the box in this video, in this uh, program. I opened up, I loaded it up and there's nothing else inside. There's no, no, so I'm having to sit here and learn this stuff on my own. You know, I'm having to click on this and see what it does and click on that and see what it does and just sort of mess around and mess around and mess around. But anyway, I finally got it to the point where I can go ahead and import, edit, get it up to YouTube and it looks good and I'm a happy camper. That's all I need to know. So I no longer need Prism and I no longer need Pizera because I've got PowerDirector 8. Highly recommend it, cheap, but if yours does not, if you were to decide to buy one and it did not come with the instructions, well, maybe it's not supposed to. I don't know. Maybe we're, you know. So anyway, uh, pay attention to what the young folks say. You know, they basically said, look, geezer, go out there and get this. You'll be happy. So that's it. That's my evaluation for today. Uh, Power Director 8. From now on, you will see all my videos edited and uploaded with this program. And until next time, from the corner of the deck, this is John.